Yeah. All right, we are going lunch with baby Brayden. First time at a restaurant with baby Brayden. Gonna give you some tips on how to navigate restaurants with babies. If they're just starting salads. Okay, that's another thing you need to tell people is get the spouse or partner and get them involved. Get them involved. Why would you say that? Brayden, you are a sauce girl for sure. Mm. Yeah. You ready for some lunch, too? Yes, I'm very hungry, hungry. Oh, okay. Eventually. <laughs> Okay, so this is a portable high chair. It's so cute. This one is from Summer Infant, and it's like a little camp chair. It has a little tray, but at the restaurant, you can take the chair and attach it and then pull it up, so you actually don't need the Mom, can I test the chair and be baby braided? No, we're going to baby braid it. And then it has straps on it, so it's like attach on it. So it's clipping in the back. That's great. Okay, so then she can get her feet resting flat, and then we can sit her in here. All right, so here comes baby Brady. And then it has a little harness here. And we can kind of scooch her bottom forward, Ashley, so we can get her knees bent at that 90 degree angle. Oh. She's probably still a little small for it, but like this is a good one. It's like a $30 portable high chair that like she can definitely grow into. I use these up until kids are like two, almost three, depending on the size. Ma'am, let me buckle your lips. You're gonna go flying around. She can at least get them flat though. Yes. That's the key. Awesome. All right, so I also bring my own mats and bowls. I don't know, like I worked in restaurants and I feel like you know how nasty the table can be sometimes, so. You know what to do. Or she just wants to play with the cup. What's this? Look at Sissy. You can get your hand out of here. She's like, And then we'll roll up something like we did with her and put it behind her. Yes, yes. Just so that we can get her feet resting. So there we are, like that. Yes, awesome. Okay, so there's another chair I like. This one's called the Bomble. It packs down flat and then you pop it up. It's like this origami style and you attach it to the back and then it has a five point harness on it. I like this one too because the baby can get their feet resting flat there on the seat. It holds like over 200 or 300 pounds. Let's see it, Mom. Oh, it's on the mat. I'm great. I'm like tipping for it. few inches later. Let's take this one if you want and just put it either over the chair before you put the chair down. Perfect. Alright, so I can, you could do you some pancakes, you could do some waffles, you can have some egg, <laughs> some kind of soft fruit is in there, maybe some cherry tomatoes like. quartered from the salad. You know how to Man, can you get the hot dog? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, your accent is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. She's doing it very well. What do you want? Cheers. 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 Woohoo. 12 seconds later. And then, of course, you have to go to the bathroom 50 times when you go to a restaurant with children, right, Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, come on, girl. A few moments later. Going to restaurants with kids is not one of my favorite things, but I'm gonna do it because I love this baby braid. She's mashing on the french fry. Who doesn't love potatoes? Got bacon, a little bit of a burger. Got a tomato quartered strawberry, a nice soft tortilla from the chilequiles. She loves the cucumber, she's probably gonna reach for that. And then this yummy waffle and some avocado. Sometimes parents freak out about french fries, and I've never known a baby to die from eating a french fry. They're gonna be fine. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's the weather for day for it. Not your cousin. Where? 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 She loves me, man. <laughs> and Kenny 
okay, that's another thing you need to tell people is get the spouse or partner, like get them involved. Because it was so helpful to have Kenny understand and be like, I'd see him like cutting up little stuff. He's like, all right, Braden. And he knew, okay, he's like measuring his finger. He's like, pinky, you know. She gripped, look at this, my two handed. Chomp, <laughs> sissy. She did her masco early on. She loved it. Yeah, look at her. Look. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Let me see the camera. Look at this. What you got going on, Sissy Pearl? <laughs> it's so thick. Claire, what'd she look like? <laughs> So we try not to clean that baby during the meal. This can be kind of a negative sensory experience. Yes. But now we're after we're going to town with you on so this wet wipe face. Sorry. Oh, it's so annoying. I know. She's not an orange pumpkin anymore. There you go. I can see her face again. It's not orange. Okay, so after the meal, what I'll do a lot of times is just take all of the dirty stuff, put it right on the splash mat. All the cups, the utensils, and then I'm just gonna fold it all up here and take this all in my diaper bag home. So for this one, this chair, it sits like this, but you push it down and then it folds down like that. See that? And for this, put it in Can you just wrap all that stuff up? Let's go, girl. Let's wrap so we can it put, up. we're gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna put it in our diaper bag, okay? Yeah. Easy. All right, and just put it in the diaper bag, sweetie. Let's go. What do you think Sissy's favorite food to eat was? Some of the Avocado. Avocado. Dallas, what'd you think? How'd she do at the restaurant? Speechless. You're speechless. <laughs> How do you feel about Sissy eating romesco sauce? Yeah. All right, what do you think? Stay here. Okay, we had a good time, but I'll say, maybe just tip the waiter a little well. And then, you know what? The burger on the ground. Okay. Just kind of swiping it off. Just a polite little, yeah. There we go. And the avocado in her hair, the romesco. They'll just look right past it. <laughs> You can help babies eat food at restaurants. Bottle.